The SOS SPF 50 Sun Serum is a broad spectrum face and body sunscreen targeted at folks with sensitive skin. It claims to be vegan, cruelty free, free of parabens, SLS, mineral oil, and fragrance. It comes in an LS pump packaging with extra protection against accidental spillage and exposure to air. The sunscreen has a simple ingredient listing with six UV filters and claims to have a five boot star rating. This applies and feels like a regular moisturizer and doesn't peel on reapplication. It doesn't leave a greasy nor matte finish. Despite having zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in the formula, this sunscreen promises not to leave a white cast and in reality, it doesn't leave a white cast. The only time I experienced the white cast while wearing this sunscreen was when I was sweating a little bit. But after spending like 30 minutes in an air-conditioned environment, the white cast disappeared completely. This sunscreen is not sweat resistant, neither is it water resistant and as such I would not recommend this sunscreen for prolonged outdoor exposure due to the fact that as you keep sweating you need to keep reapplying the sunscreen over and over again. And still on this issue, due to the lack of water resistance, this sunscreen is very very easy to wash off with just water. In fact, you splash water on your face and you can feel the fume of sunscreen coming off before you even go in with your foaming cleanser. So. Do not use this sunscreen for prolonged outdoor exposure. You might be very, very disappointed. My skin did not react negatively to this in any way. I did not tan while wearing it, but it does sting a little bit around the eye area and even the brand recommends that you should avoid the eye area. So do please have that in mind. Now, with all of this said, let's move into the shady marketing behind this sunscreen. Guys, whatever you do, do not buy this sunscreen if you are looking to get a zero white cast mineral sunscreen. This is not a mineral sunscreen, aka physical sunscreen, aka organic sunscreen. Sorry, inorganic sunscreen. This sunscreen has four chemical UV filters at the top of the ingredient listing, and I do not understand why the brand still insists on calling it a mineral sunscreen. If you react to chemical UV filters, do not get this sunscreen, please. It is not a mineral sunscreen, it is a hybrid or combination sunscreen. When contacted about this misinformation on their website, on the product itself, and on Amazon UK, this is what the brand had to say. Until a cosmetic formulator is able to sit down, analyze this sunscreen exactly and tell us what the fuck is going on with it, I have a problem believing, you know, what the brand is saying. You can't have four chemical filters at the top of the ingredient listing and they are doing nothing with regards to UV protection. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. In my personal opinion, they have to be contributing in some way to the UV protection levels. Most especially the UVA protection level because we are talking five boot star rates. And what we have here is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And from what I know, it is very, very difficult to get a very, very high UV rating with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Very, very difficult. Personally, I wouldn't be too quick to trust a European sunscreen that does not have the UVA Circle logo or a Boot Star logo. While reading Dome of Skin's recent blog post, I discovered that these brands aren't obligated to show these logos on their labels. It is not a do or die affair. Do check out that blog post. The brand claims that this sunscreen has been tested according to the Boot's 5 star rating system and it has been given the 5 star rating. And my question now is why aren't you flaunting that on the packaging? Has Boots not given you the go-ahead to use the logo on your product? Do you need to pay a fee to use the logo on your product and you can't access that fee right now? Are you just falsely hyping this product? All of these issues plus the lack of water resistance and sweat resistance are the reason why I do not plan on repurchasing this sunscreen for now. I'm not saying the sunscreen doesn't work, I'm just saying that it needs to inspire more confidence for me to like invest heavily in it. To be honest, if this sunscreen is actually an SPF 50 sunscreen with 5 boot star rating, I would not hesitate to make it my daily driver because this is the highest protection I have ever seen in a sunscreen that contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide without a white cast. The highest protection I have seen so far. And it's not that expensive. So if these ratings are for real, like let's say for example the brand like kind of like repackages the sunscreen and actually puts a UVA circle logo on it and that 5 boot star rating logo on it, I would definitely invest in this sunscreen despite the you know lack of sweat resistance basically basically i'll just be using it for my my regular you know day-to-day -day activities but not for prolonged outdoor activities i just spit ew gross as always don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful in any way and i'll see you guys in my next video take care guys bye